Runway has launched their Gen 4 reference image. Let's see how good it is. Hey, my name is Rosh. I'm the co-host of the Creative AI Show, and we're going to test Gen 4 reference image. And we'll start off by creating, well, someone to reference. Start off with an image, a model with purple hair and red gloves and dark, dark green dress. Let's see what happens. All right, and we have some nice image. Oh, that's a little off on the hand there, but let's see what we have. That's a nice, nice, very good. So let's just, we'll use this one. We'll download it and use it as the reference image. So here we have our model and you can have up to three different generally locations. They haven't quite gotten the object element down like you might find, say, in Pika. But that's not what the main purpose of this is for now. The main thing is we want to put a model in different locations and we can just start with a model. Now, here's a really cool feature. See when I hovered over, it says image one. Well, I can now say green dress, we'll just say green dress, or I could give her a name. Um, and there we are. And so what we can do at green dress on a icy, on a icy mountain, generate, even with mountain spelled wrong. So now here we have our character, same character, on an icy mountain. Pretty cool. Now let's put her in a specific place. So I've uploaded an image I created a few moments ago. That green dress is standing in yard. And there she is. Here is our at green dress model. I feel bad, I should probably give her a name. And she is now in the yard that we presented right here. Now, let's add someone, a purple knight. And we'll give, we'll just call him purple. With at, you just hit the at purple. It, this doesn't have an image, so you could actually give your background a name that will stick within you, the system for you. And generate. And I don't see our, our knight. Uh-oh. <laughs> and I don't see our knight. What happened? Where is our knight in the uh, background? I She's there uh, in standing in the yard with at purple. Um, let's let's try it again. We'll call this one purple. Or actually, so let's test this again. We have green dress with at purple um, in at Rome. I had a, I created a kind of a Roman setting. So let's uh, see what happens. Okay, a couple adjustments. Let's see what happens. Well, I guess you can't add another character. So here we have our person. Looks great. Okay, so let's try this again and see what happens. So now we'll just do at purple. So let's just do this. Purple standing in yard ready for battle. You always, we have a number of options here and when we want to create a video, we can select the image we want and go on over to video. But right now, you can create a number of scenes with your consistent character which can help you develop a story and that's the main idea behind this. So here we are and we have our purple knight in the environment, the background that we requested. I'm not sure where that other sword came from, 
but that doesn't matter. It's showing us what we wanted our knight in this consistent background. And again, we can now say, hey, let's put it in a, let's put our knight in a different background. And we'll get rid of this background and just put in the castle. And here's our knight with the castle. So we have a story developing. And now we can take this and download it. So from here, we have a couple options. We can go to video or we can select directly from our image input for video. It'll take you to video and you can describe your scene. I recommend it, especially if you want your knight to go a certain direction. I'm just going to say knight, the knight is ready for battle to protect the castle. We have our option of five or 10 seconds. Let's go 10 seconds. And here we are, and I have to say, I've been kind of rough on runway lately, but this is actually really nice work here. I, I, I like the imagery, it, it looks good. Um, you have 4K scalability. Uh, you, there's a number of things you can do here in, in a very high level on runway. And they have been behind in some areas because reference images are available on places like Pika and Leonardo. But I really think that Runway gives them, well, a run for their money, to be quite honest. And so let's, let's see what happens here. Um, 10 seconds of our knight defending the castle. And with that, I'm highly disappointed in Runway. <laughs> now that was Gen 4 Turbo. Let's see to be to be fair, let's see if Gen 4 we'll go we'll go 5 seconds is any better. Okay, now our last shot with Gen 4 straight up. We were using Turbo to start off. Let's see what happens. Let's hope that uh, let's hope that Runway Gen 4 can uh, redeem the uh, the kudos I was giving it before. Here we go. Well, here we are, and let's see, starting off good, and oh, what an extra sword came out of nowhere. We had a we had some issues at the end. It started off pretty good though, uh, better than Turbo. And I think that we would maybe have to be more specific in our prompt. But again, the quality overall, I think, is pretty good. Um, but, you know, the kudos I gave it earlier, well, hmm. Okay, we'll have to take some of it back. But I, I have to tell you, too, that I think I will enjoy using this, uh, this feature within Runway. Hey, if you want to hear more about AI for creatives, check out the Creative AI Show every Monday on this YouTube channel and, of course, on your favorite podcasting location. We'll catch you in the next video.